What's up, guys? It's me, Boxing, and I just finished up watching Fabio Worley versus Eric Molina, which is a 10-rounder in the heavyweight division, and this fight was Saturday, March 27th, from Gibraltar, and this fight was broadcasted on Zone in the United States and Sky Sports Abroad. And in this fight, it was very, very close and competitive, unlike I predicted. I thought it would be a dominant win for Fabio Worley by knockout in rounds 3 or 4, but it ended up being a 5th-round knockout for Worley, so I would say I got this prediction correct just based off it was a KO win for Fabio Worley. But the rounds were very off from what I thought they would be. I thought it would be all Fabio Worley just dominating, but I actually had it 39-37 in favor of Molina. Molina would just capitalize on um, Fabio Worley keeping his hands down and getting hit because Fabio Worley would keep his hands down, try and use head movement, try to be slick like a Roy Jones Jr. or a Floyd Mayweather, but he would get hit. And those first two rounds are, are the reason why I gave them to Eric Molina. But um, in round number three, Molina got hit with a beautiful right hand from Worley and got sent back and turned around, actually, and uh, Worley was able to capitalize and land free shots on Molina. So that's why I gave um, Worley round three. But then in the fourth round, it was very, very close and competitive. Both fighters did well in their own right, and I actually gave it to Molina, but I could have seen how you could have given it to Fabio Worley. But then in the fifth round, Molina had... Fabio Worley very, very hurt. He landed a beautiful right hand that sent Fabio Worley back doing the chicken dance. And Fabio Worley actually got to the ropes before getting hit by another right hand. Up until, which was a very smart choice in his um, right, um, Fabio Worley, as, as he was hurt on the ropes, decided to trade with Eric Molina. And then Eric Molina actually got hit with a beautiful right hand and got knocked out on his back and was not able to get back up. As Fabio Worley, when he was hurt, um, I'm not sure if it's really good for him if he fights another top opponent. But, um, yeah, it actually worked out here. When he was hurt, he decided to trade with Molina. And since he knows Molina does not have the greatest punch resistance, Molina was able to get knocked out. And I believe when Molina was coming in there, both landed uppercuts, both landed hooks on each other up until I believe there might have been a head clash in there after the head clash. Uh, Molina got hit with another right hand that sent him on the ground. And Molina was just on his back for the full 10 count referee end of the fight. And like always, Eric Molina was complaining that he was getting hit behind the head, similar to the Philip Hergovich fight. But what's next for Eric Molina? I think he should retire. I'm um, coming off two KO losses. He's right now a gatekeeper for heavyweight prospects after losing to Philip Hergovich and now Fabio Worley. So I think he should retire because he shouldn't really take any more punishment as he's 38 years old and has just been knocked out two times in a row, as I said before. But what's next for Fabio Worley? I think he should step up in the heavyweight division a little bit more. Um, this was actually a very, very dangerous step up as he could have been stopped because he was hurt leading up to that knockout. But um, obviously his power came through, getting his 11th victory, 10th by knockout. Um, I think he should step up and fight somewhere maybe around the same skill level as Eric Molina to get another um, fight like that, sort of test the waters um, of those gatekeepers in the heavyweight division. I wouldn't mind seeing him against Joel Tomboy Jekko, who just fought Tony Yoka, um, a couple weeks ago, because that'd be a decent fight against a very awkward style like Jekko has. But um, I would like to see him against someone maybe like Carlos to come. That'd be a very, very tough fight for him. But I would like to see him against a top 30, top 40 heavyweight, because Merlina was arguably top 100, top 50, top 80, around there. Maybe Lucas Brown, that's a very good shout next. Or um, maybe even Nick Webb, who's coming off a very, very good win against Pfeiffer. Um, yeah, Nick Webb, um, Lucas Brown, around there, those could be very, very good opponents for him next, and they would give him a very, very good test. So overall, Fabio Worley knocks Eric Molina out to get his 11th victory, 10th by knockout, and to stay undefeated. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.